Hi, I'm Keegan, and this is A Bunch of Gamers. This is our fifth episode of Vampire the Dark Ages, 20th Anniversary Edition. I'm going to go around and have my players introduce themselves. Hi, this is Christine, and I'm playing Isabella Orsini, a Cappadocian. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm playing a Tamichi named Augustine. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm playing an Asimite named Yehuda Ben Hakim. Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm playing the gang girl Ham Varson. Last time, you had investigated bits of the red light district to get a hold of Merelda. She spoke of the elusive German and her connections. After some a night of rest and some hunting, you all begin to make preparations as you wish to investigate Galetto the Snake, try and gather some more information about this elusive German, and possibly get some more information upon Jacobello, the man who found the scroll, as well as trying to find out the information of the Prince of Pisa to make sure that all the forms and formalities are observed. The evening is young. What would you all like to do, and who's going where? Do we have a name for the Prince of Pisa yet? No, you haven't. Uh, that's that's part of the investigation part. Okay. Um, I think that I would like to speak with Leone, my uh, maker, to my sire, to get some background information, as, some, as I assume they are more worldly than I am. Okay. That works. Augustine? Mm, give me a sec for now. Okay. Yehuda? I like to put feelers out amongst uh, mine or our contacts, whether we've pooled them or not, and see if anybody else has heard about this mysterious German or Galetta the Snake. Okay. And Ham? Not sure. Um, just thinking. Okay. Well, we will start with. Um, I have what I I want to try and figure out if there is anyone else who does business with the German. Okay. That works. Uh, how would you like to go about doing that with your contacts or? Uh, yes, through my contacts. Okay. So we will start with Isabella first, as you return home, so to speak, to the sanctum of Leone. Ah, Isabella, how can I help you? I was hoping you would have some information to share about Pisa. I believe our investigation is going to take us out of the city, and I'd like to make sure that I am following all proper procedure uh, before we do so. I see, I see. Uh, yes, I can give some basics that I know. I know that the prince is Katsusia, or Cat for short. She is a La Sombra, and that she pledged her fealty to Penfilio and uh, Ancius's sire several centuries ago as Florence was gaining power and overpowered that of Pisa. It's unclear who she supports now. Um, and do you think that it would be necessary to speak with anybody in Florence prior to us going to Pisa? Hi. Hmm. Well, there are... I know that uh, Gizgo has had some dealings in Pisa as well. He he might be able to have some information for you as well as uh, Gilia, as they've both worked for both princes and both have been sent to Pisa before. I would approach Gizgo if you have more leanings, or at least more favor, with Panfilio and Gilia 
if you have more leanings towards Ensius right now, as they are both working with her currently. That's good to know. Are there any pitfalls that I should be aware of, or any strategic mistakes I should try to avoid in Pisa? I would not mention too much of Florence's power. It's apparently a sore spot for the prince there, since she wielded a city with far more control than Florence until recent centuries. Do you know what happened? Florence grew in economic strength. Pisa was a port town, which typically means it will have more political and economic strength, but Florence's wool and cultural exports have outpaced that, and now they wield more political and economic power. That makes sense. Do you know anyone in Pisa, whether it be traitor or kin, anything of that nature? Certainly. I know I know of a trader down there who's done some dealings with me. He works in the corpse trade. His name is Isnard. Would it be permissible for me to contact your trader as an in in the city? Certainly. That seems reasonable. Would, you, would it be necessary for you to perhaps write an introduction, or would drop uh, your name? I will, I will write a letter for you, a letter of introduction. I will let them know that you are my eyes and ears in the city, but no good deed goes unpunished, and so I do require a boon from you, then. Okay. I wish for some additional information on the corpse trade and seeing how it goes. Try and extract as much information from Isnard as possible, as well as trying to give me a better sense of the kindred culture down in Pisa, since it has been several centuries since I've gone that way. That seems only fitting if you're allowing us the introduction necessary to get an introduction to the culture. Anything else that you think I need to know? That's all that I can think of, I suppose. Uh, Be warned that the Inquisition does sometimes pass through Pisa before going back down to Roma. When might I stop by to pick up the letter of introduction? I will have it ready for you tomorrow night. Thank you very much. With that, I will head back to our haven to share information as soon as everybody else returns from their various investigations. Okay, so we'll start with Yehuda. All right, if um, Augustine is focusing on the German, I will try to track down Galetto the Snake. Okay. It should be a bit easier since we have a name. Yes, so I would like you to make a... Charisma contacts roll, difficulty six. Please. Now, what what was his particular role that we learned from that they learned, uh, Augustine and Ham learned from Merelda? Uh, that he works in the local thieves guild. Okay. All right. You your contacts go out for several hours. Start asking around. It's closer to the middle of the night when they come back and they inform you of two things. That the Thieves' Guild in question tends to work out of the southwest of the city near Panfilio's territory, and that the organization is specifically called uh, Serpentis Lacum. Panfilio's territory, and we were previously mucking about in... Ancius's territory. Right? Yep. Good. Are these... Um, vampire thieves? Human thieves? Is this guild part of the kindred organization, or...? Uh, as far as you know, they're human thieves. Since you've never... Galetto's... Yeah, you've never seen Galetto at Elysium before, for either prince. And if he was powerful enough to avoid both princes, then you would have certainly heard that he was a kindred before. Hmm. 
So these are humans who may have been involved. I see. Are, is there a location, or just, well, I guess that'd be still easy, but were we able to determine a location for Serpent's Lacoon, or some kind of contact? Some that will take symbol? that will take some more time to investigate. That's all you got with that. Those two successes. Okay. Uh, and then Augustine, could I get a charisma contact roll difficulty seven, please? I'm going to use my luck to re-roll that. Alright. Alright. You do get some information. It's once again very late in the evening. It took your contacts quite a bit of time. And it seems that they did find two others besides uh, Galetto the Snake, who worked with the German. The first one is Salvatore the Woodsman. And the other one is... Violetta Albergi, the madam. All right. And then, Ham, did you figure out what you wanted to do this evening? Maybe. Just, uh, okay. Memory's bad. So we're thinking about going to Pisa to track down... Giacobello? Giacobello. He's the traitor. That was referenced in Androsio's uh, accounting book that we stole. Source merchant for the scroll. For the scroll, yeah. Have we found out much about him? Not a whole lot, no. So I guess I will try to figure out, learn what I can from my contacts in, from my limited contacts in Florence. I will try to learn what I can about Giacobello. Okay, could I get a charisma contacts, please? Difficulty six. All right, hey. So. Giacobello has quite the illustrious reputation, and there are several rumors floating around, some some being quite contradictory. One is that Giacobello has worked, actually is a former crusader who works for Rome, and that he has actually had contact with the Pope, or the previous Pope, before his untimely demise, and that he would bring artifacts to the Vatican. Other rumors claim that he was a mercenary and that he actually preyed upon the ships ships of the church and would steal those artifacts that were going to the Vatican to give them to private traders. Yet others say that Giacobello has several contacts and has wandered parts of North Africa, and has actually even gone into the Caliphate to make deals and alliances with Saracens to increase his own personal network. One that stands out is that there is a rumor that allegedly comes from Giacobello's own lips when he was upon his seventh or eighth cup of wine in that he traveled to through the sands of Egypt and found remnants of an ancient library that where upon entering he discovered an a- an ancient scroll said to be related to the gospel of Satan and that evening a coffin opened up and a great beast of shadow attacked him and that he escaped with his life but that now Giacobello always carries with him a silver crucifix and even has a separate dagger made of silver claiming that the silver was good enough to defend him from said unholy abomination. Interesting. So, this is a well-traveled guy. Yes. Nice. So, you all kind of reconvene late in the evening with your newfound information. Well, this thieves guild that Galetta the Snake works for, or Serpens Lacoon, is definitely worth checking out, but they're in Panfilio territory. I think it would be wise for us to be careful goes into what territory moving forward. We do 
do need to remember that we are known associates. So people are going to still know that we're going into both territories, even if it's not us personally. You're right, but I think if there's anything we can do to just be careful, it's not a bad idea to be cautious. But, uh, I'm more than happy to go with someone to check out the these guilds. This, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Serpents, serpents, snakes, snake people. <laughs> Lizard people. How did you say it? Serpents, lacoon, lacoon. Yeah, I look at that word very, very differently. Um, having seen it spelled out. So, at minimum, I need to go pick up the letter. So, wherever it would be best for me to go afterwards, I will do so. Just let me know where I would be best serving. There's also the question of cultivating relationships. Like, we, you already have the contact through your sire that got us to, into uh, Ansius's territory and got us to investigate the manor house. Um, Paul Ham and Augustine already have the contacts to speak to and have already spoken about going to the red light district. How near is, well, wait a minute, in, a thieves guild probably wouldn't operate too far away from a red light district. This one is not near the red light district, since the red light district is in Ansius' territory. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm all turned around then. Whose territory was um, Manor House in then? That one was Panfilio. Uh, okay. I am very, very curious about Jacopella. What Ham discovered is incredibly interesting. Well, perhaps we should still divide and conquer. My sire did give those two names, Gizgo and Gilia. Perhaps we could divide and conquer and, and do, you know, four things tonight. Pick up the letter go see Gizgo and Gilia, and also check out the Thieves Guild. Two people take two tasks, and then we reconvene. So I guess here's a question for the group. Um, I'll leave this up to the vote, certainly. I, I, I think we ought to prioritize what we want to focus on. Um, I, you know, I think it would be in our best interest to prioritize Giacobello and going to Pisa given his direct contact but I think an argument can be made for you know looking into Garletto the snake and the German for the same exact reason so you know I guess I, I guess the question is do we want to prioritize one or do we want to split the group and try to diversify well I guess if we're going to split the group who's going away Pisa is going to be a Sorry. Go on. Oh, just Pisa was gonna be like a pretty big trip though, wasn't it? At least a day to get out there. Yes. Yeah, if we're traveling to Pisa, I think we should all travel together. Then we should probably take care of that first. Agreed. Now that we know Sir Pin's Lacoon exists, I doubt they're going in. Would it be customary to send a letter ahead of time to a prince's city that you're going to be arriving in? Yes. Okay. Then I will arrange for letters for us to be sent. Okay. That'll give you a... That'll arrive tomorrow evening then, so you have the rest of this evening to do whatever you like. The evening's about halfway over. What, Isabella, what did your sire mention about the corpse trader? Isnard is... His contact in the city... I have very little information about him right now, but tomorrow evening I will be able to pick up a letter of introduction. Um, certainly that letter did come at a cost, as you might imagine. Um, while we're in Pisa, we will be investigating the corpse trade and trying to get a sense of you know, what exactly is going on in, in Pisa. Um, 
I'm hoping to get more information from my sire when we pick up the letter. At that point, he had already shared significant uh, pieces of information, and I did not wish to push my luck. Well, that's not exactly much of a cost for you, though, is it? Getting an in on the corpse trade might help with your uh, research. That's why I readily agreed to the arrangement. I think it's mutually beneficial. Well, I have some background in commerce. Maybe it's possible for us to start by investigating the corpse trade here and seeing what routes and contacts exist between here and Pisa in this Isna. I think that sounds like a good idea. Let's go buy a body. <laughs> That's how I like to spend my Saturday nights. Looking to, uh, Pick somebody up? Yeah. That's what I call a good time. Yes, it'll be. Well, I'm going to spend the rest of this night uh, hunting by socializing about, around with the merchants. Okay. So, just to... So, Isabella, Yehuda, what were you guys doing tonight? The rest of the night? We want to investigate the corpse trade here in Florence. I imagine I probably already have some contacts given who and what I am just mm-hmm. to see what connections there are between Pisa and Florence, things of that nature. Okay. We can do that. Then, uh, Augustine is going to go feeding. And how about Ham? What were you going to do for the rest of your evening? I'd also go do a little hunting, too. Okay. Sounds good. So, Isabella, I would like you to roll... Uh, let's see. Best way, because it's not necessarily contacts in this case. Let's do... Maybe allies? It would be contacts, but I'm, I'm seeing what else would go with it in this case. I think it would be either Contacts uh, Medicine. Do we have any pool of background in Contacts? I don't think so. No. Well, I have no points in Contacts. That's okay. I do have a couple of points in this. What's the difficulty on this? Uh, the corpse trade is pretty elusive, so it'll be difficulty 8. Oh, well, we may not find anything, guys. Because I'm only going to three guys. Oh! Okay. <laughs> you get a hold of something. You get uh, contact with a woman named Landa. She is a... She goes by as a sort of little old lady that no one would suspect as part of the corpse trade. She tends, she ha- tends to basically steal bodies from households claiming that she's there to clean them up in the name of the church and then steals them for coin to give to her family. Right. Sounds like a nice little thing. She is fairly active in the evening as you approach the old woman as she has a rather heavy sack behind her on a cart as she swiftly waddles up the street, seeming to want to avoid a nearby house. Can we smell if there's a corpse in the bag behind her on the cart? You could do a perception alertness. It'll be diff 8 as well. That's something our specs would apply to, right? Yes. How does, he, how does, does that just add two to your roll? It decreases or, his difficulty. Okay. You said perception awareness or perception alertness? Alertness. So it was originally a difficulty... Eight. Okay. And the aspect score decreases it. The, yep. the score decreases it by that much, right? Correct. Well, I don't notice shit, but somebody else does. 
the walk of mild that. decay approaches you. It is a fresh corpse. We're in the right place. So I'll let the lean on this one because you're a little less um, corpse looking than I am. Huh. Wouldn't want her know. to try to crush me. <laughs> ah. Good evening, Londa. As she kind of pauses briefly and looks at you, her eyes squinting in the even, the dark of the evening, she goes, I'm sorry. Do I know you? I was wondering if you wanted any help with your uh, burden. Seems an awfully heavy cart for somebody of your advanced team. Oh, thank you very much. If you could get into the rear and push a bit while I drag it up the hill. And where are we taking this deliver? Oh, to... I will get back and finish. <laughs> he is... It is but a simple nobleman who hired me. It is a great sack of root vegetables that he has ordered from me. And I wish to deliver them so that I could earn some coin, kind sir. Ah, he must be planning quite the feast. Possible. This many vegetables. Ah, uh, yes, it is likely, though he could simply be restoring his root cellars. The summer does not last forever, of course. Of course. Do you do business with this nobleman often? I do. And his name? I wouldn't want to push the cart in the wrong direction. Fantino? Why do you ask, sir? And she's starting to look at you with a bit of suspicion. Tell me, do you ever sell uh, your root vegetables outside of Florence? Say, Pisa? Oh, sir, no, no. Why would I do such a thing? There are so many farmers locally, and the vegetables do not last the journey from Pisa, typically. At least the ones that are that I sell, of course. Ah, too true, too true. I'm simply passing through. I was on my way down to Pisa to conduct some other business arrangements. Tell me, if I were looking to buy turnips down, who would I talk to? I surely would not know, sir. I, I mean, I have heard of several fine traders, but I'm but a humble local woman. I have never left Florence in my whole life, if you must know. Ah, of course. Well, then you must know much about this city. Oftentimes, it's the, the humblest and the most seasoned of us who get to learn the most while others fail to pay attention or notice it. Seasoned? <laughs> but you do have a silver tongue. What kind of questions do you want in why did you seek out old Landa to to ask? You still haven't answered my question of how you know my name. Oh, well, let's just say that uh, your customer base, while discreet for sure, is very, very pleased with what you've been able to accomplish. I... Do not know what you are getting at, sir. She's starting to look you over with a bit of suspicion. Don't mind me. I make it my business to know the comings and goings of any city in which I visit. And I'm always happy to help somebody carry a load. You hear a voice from the, al the alleyway. It is high-pitched and chittery as you hear the a... Run! Run, old woman! These are murderers and they seek your blood! Run! Run for your life! They are murderers! 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 Just as the voice gets louder and louder and she goes stiff for a moment before letting go of her cart and starts to book it. Isabella, the voice is familiar to you. I would like to rush down the alleyway 
where the voice is coming from. All right, you rush as you see the small impish creature hanging from a windowsill cackling to itself. Hermes? Oh, what are you doing here? Peter, Peter Fun! Did you see her run? To think she could move that quickly and not creak and wake the whole city! <laughs> Oh, you are such a beast of bother. What are you doing here? It's more than just fun for you. Uh, but of course, you would I gave a favor, and, well, I'm simply enacting bits of tolls. Why have you not sent me any souls, Isabella? I am unsure of what you're referring to. Your poor sire. What about my sire? I did so much for him. You were weeping. Such blood from your eyes. And Vermis came. Vermis helped. But Isabella doesn't do anything for Vermis, no. Isabella simply goes about her evenings. How do you think that makes Vermis feel? Isabella is not merely going about her business, her evening. Isabella is trying to make sure that I am safe before continuing investigation. If it's tolls you want, I'm sure you'll get them in due time. I'm sure. I'm sure. No. Vernus thinks perhaps not from you. Word spreads quickly through the pit, Isabella. Word of what? Oh, that you have anger, Lemon Del Incrucio. What else have you heard about that? Only that you anger him. And, but Ernest does not wish to get on that one's bad side. But, Vermis will sit around a bit. And see what happens when someone does! Well, you let her go catch her! She seems out of breath! As he disappears in a puff of smoke. So, was that the same little imp that cried out when we first obtained the scroll? Now is not the time or the place to have this discussion. No, right. The time and the place was several days ago when you failed to tell us everything that was going on. Is that a demon who was disturbing us at the manor house the other night? I will tell you that I think so. I'm not sure, but again, a public alleyway is not the time and the place to have this conversation when somebody is running from us. Meanwhile, at a lovely late night decadent dinner party of several nobles, Augustine you arrive as you see one of the local merchant lords of Florence laughing in his cup as he goes, Augustine! Ah! Fashionably late as ever, I see. It's good to make an impression. <laughs> so it is, so it is. Now please have the impression of my wine. <laughs> it is nurturing to the soul. I will spend the blood point to be able to keep it down. Very nice. Ah. But it has been some time. What has kept you from my <laughs> my courtroom? From my lavish dinners? I would be if I would be remiss if my chefs scared you off and that you thought the food was too fine for you. Ah <laughs> uh, no, the food here is quite fine. Very different, but very fine. No, business has been, well, busy. Much is going on around here. So it is, so it is. I, some Ghibellines had arrived at my shop just the other day, demanded that I gave them extra florins for the damn emperor. I tell you, I, I was so insulted. I almost had them run through by my guards. But, well, 
Bloodshed is bad for business, as you know. Yes. Dead men don't make more money to give to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that is why I am impressed by you and your patron. They seem to know this quite well, and they seem to turn enemies into allies. It's quite good. Plus, I have always been fascinated by your your Eastern notions of hospitality. It is very important to us. You must be a gracious host. So, would you like to go after one of the servants, or would you like to go after one of the nobles here? How would you like to feed? I will go after one of the servants when they're off to the off and out. Okay, perfect. What do you think would be a good skill attribute combination for that, Augustine? No, I'll agree or disagree. Etiquette manipulation to get out of the, like, to have an acceptable absence and an acceptable time of absence. Yeah, that works for me, uh, because they are servants and people tend not to care what nobility does to servants, I will make that a difficulty five. Well, that was a rule. <laughs> that was certainly a roll. Yes, you do succeed. But, wow. <laughs> anyway, you get one of the servers alone. How much would you like to feed from him? Uh, just two points. Just two points. All right. And uh, since I'm off by myself, I will also take the time to... Uh, find a discreet location to throw up. Okay, perfect. And Ham, how are you gonna hunt tonight? Mm. Yes. No, I did it last time, but just looking for the random uh, unfortunate person that's in the mm. wrong place. All right, in the I wrong believe, empty alley. I believe I said that was a strength brawl check last time, and it will be difficulty five. Okay. You find the unfortunate as you grab a hold. Before they can scream out, your ghastly cold hand wraps around their mouth, and they feel the strength of your undead flesh. How much would you like to drain from them? Just two. Just two. As you bite in, the ecstasy fills you both. And you leave as swiftly as you came. The evening starts to come to a close as you all return to the haven. Ham, Augustine, you notice that Isabella and Yehuda's relationship, so to speak, has cooled this evening. So we wouldn't have had enough time to uh, finish delivering the corpse or to track down Londa? I assume you wanted to leave because a demon was screaming, murderers, murderers, and you were by a corpse. Okay, that's fine. Seems reasonable enough to me. Also, I probably want to get as far away from where Vermis was as, you know, possible. Does anybody have any questions they want to ask me at this point, now that we're in a private place? (laughs) How was dinner, Augustine? Oh, very fine. The merchants are always accommodating. Hmm? Yes. How was dinner? It was dinner. How was your night? Oh, we learned quite a bit. Rather, I learned quite a bit. Apparently, we already knew more than we suspected. In what way? Do you remember when we initially obtained the scroll? Yes. There was a high-pitched shriek that warned everybody what was happening? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, the shriek had a name. His name was Vermis. It warned off our quarry again tonight, and apparently this imp is known to Isabella. You're right. The imp is known to me. Until tonight, I didn't have confirmation that he's the one who interfered that first night. The information that Verma shared with us this evening, well, it's confirmation of what we had already uncovered and it's suspected 
after that visit to Androsio's home. And what was it we suspect? Or rather, what was it you suspect? You yourself had helped with research on the demon at the man at the crossroads. The demon of the crossroads is a deal maker. This conversation Man. we didn't have a name before Verma said what did we say Del Incrucio? It is Uomo del Incrucio. Which is just Uomo. Italian. Yeah, Uomo. I will post it. Yeah, I'm gonna post it, but Uomo del Crucio. Or, what is that? It means man at the crossroads. That's all, okay. Yeah. So, he did not actually tell us anything that the books did not already suggest. But I'm not even gonna try to, per- I'm not even gonna try to butcher that. I really hope we don't have any listeners. Poor native us. Italian speakers? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I imagine we would be, uh, crucified for that. Oh, I'm sure they'd just laugh and go, ha, dumbass Americans. Uh, <laughs> But no, uh, no one has downloaded from Italy that I have seen. Uh, maybe they're using a VPN to get to it, Keegan. May- maybe. We've had a total of three downloads from Italy in two years. Uh, <laughs> Trust me, nobody, nobody is going to have a worse problem than presumably they did with my Scottish accent last time. <laughs> Also fair. Anyway. Yes. Uomo dell'incrocio seems to be the one tracking us. Seems to want three souls for what we assume are three different scrolls provided to Androsio. And it seems Vermis wants a soul from you. That is something that I just cannot discuss. It is a very, very dark tale. I must ask that you drop it for the time being. I will deal with it, and I had no idea that Vermis was interfering or planned to interfere with this. You had an idea. You had an idea when you heard the voice. I recognized the voice, the second Certainly, I recognized the voice, but until I turned the corner, I did not know it was him. I've not heard from Vermis much these past years. Well, I don't care how much past is in your words, but when there are demons hunting us, and you fail to share information with us... Have I not shared I all of I thought we trusted each other. I have shared all of the information that I have been privy to up until this point, except for the reason why Vermis is interested in me. I did not hide it when I found out what he was doing. We we angered the demon at the crossroads. We would have done that with or without Vermis, because we were after the scrolls anyway. This is not my fault, nor is it Vermis's fault. But I'm doing Vermis what is, I must. Vermis is making a habit out of making noise at inopportune times. I hardly call two instances a habit, but again, it's being dealt with. Either you is, can trust me on this, or I'm not sure what you would want to do at that point. Em, Augustine? So what the, what it would be entailed in you repaying this soul that you are owed, then? Or well, that you owe? He wants a soul. And how would you do that? That's a question for me and Keegan to figure out at a later date. Because I don't uh, know the answer to that question. <laughs> we have not actually gotten that far. So, shall I continue to play coy, Keegan? Yeah. Because your <laughs> character also doesn't know. Vermis that is works. just being a little dick. But it is also related to that dark secret flaw that I took in character creation. So, anywho, back in character, you know, I am working to figure out how I might repay that debt. It is not, it is not as clear-cut as one might hope. You might want to 
resolve that before it becomes too much of an issue. I think we still need to focus on the scrolls, but it's an issue we might want to resolve at some point. It could be bad for all of us. I don't disagree with you. I don't think there's much more to pursue tonight. So this demon owes you something. Or, you owe this demon something. Yeah. And it it's a probably story. won't sabotage us too horribly until it gets that. I mean, he hasn't done anything that bad so far. So, I'll yeah. agree with Augustine and something we should deal with later. Very well. Now that we know, we might actually be able to help you figure out how to solve it. It's not a burden that I wished to put on anyone but myself. And yet, here we are. Well, you're no the matter. one make a big deal out of it. <laughs> we'll figure it out later today. And so, the evening passes. Please spend one point of vitae. And Isabella... You will need to go visit your sire for their letter of introduction before you leave. Uh, do that. As you enter the manor, you see them there over a body, kind of opening things up as they turn. They go, ah, Isabella. Uh, good evening. I was hoping to get the letter so I might start my journey. Yes, it is as they're arm deep in the, the corpse, moving their hands around a bit. It's on the table behind me. Uh, may I ask another request? I'm certainly open to just about anything. Please try not to scare Londa too much. Her heart will not be able to bear it. And she has given me good sources of her trade and good objects for me to study as their arm cracks out of the corpse. Oh, certainly. It was never our intent to scare her, rather an unexpected issue popped up that we're trying to resolve. Understood. Thank you, and good luck on your travels. I look forward to the information you bring back to me, and I hope you learn many things. I hope so too. I will uh, share the information as soon as we return. Very well. Good evening. Thank you. And I will, um, head out, you know. You head out? You have the letter of introduction, and by this point, your servant has likely reached the courts of Pisa to deliver the introduction to the prince. You all prepare to head out. Is there any last-minute things any of you would like to do before heading out to the next city over? Is there time to feed? There is some time to feed, depending on how you want to feed, because if you're going to try and do anything subtle, then likely not. I mean, I don't necessarily need it to be subtle. I'm fine just grabbing somebody in an alleyway. Okay, then I will ask for a strength brawl. Difficulty 5, please. Alright, here's the moment of truth, guys. Whether or not I can actually pull something. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, you... That's okay. You, you fucked up anyway. Uh, you got three successes. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up typing. Uh, so you got three successes. So you do find uh-huh. someone. And you get a hold of them and feed. How much would you like to feed from? How much can I take two blood points without it causing them any issues? Yes. I'll do that. All right. Good you do that. And you do that, and you return to the rest of the group, letter in hand. The horses have been packed, and it seems that you are ready for your long journey. It will take about uh, two nights to get to Pisa, but there are inns along the way, thankfully. But that's neither here nor there right now. As you mount your horses and begin to head out, who knows what Pisa will bring and what kind of secrets you will uncover. The only thing that can be certain is that the machinations of this so-called German 
are likely to continue until you scratch away enough clues and deal with it. And we will find out how your adventures in Pisa go next time. Thank you to everyone who listened. If you somehow found this podcast not through our Facebook, you can find us on Facebook. If you've already reached the end of this vampire episode, give it a like, share on your social medias, help it grow. All right, we'll catch you in our next episode. Bye.